hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm gonna be unboxing a package from bomb nails i was so excited to open this and show you guys what's inside of it because i saw on instagram how she was sending out her pr packages and it was so cute i just could not wait to get to it and also throughout this unboxing part, you will see my hand moving. I was originally going to make this a talk through video, but I didn't really like how the sound was like my area just sounded like really hollow. So I just decided to mute it and just do a voiceover. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be taking everything out the box. Also, she included her new monomer. Now she's been working on this monomer for a very long time um if you watch her videos you know she likes to talk about her products like the process and if you haven't seen her videos before i honestly recommend you would really like them she is amazing at nail art um but yeah this is how the monomer looks and honestly i'm so excited for it because i just love when there's a monomer to match the brand of acrylics so that was just really exciting um, and I did go ahead and poke some holes in the top and I'm giving it a quick whiff test because I know a lot of people do not like the smell of monomer. It's just like super annoying, um, especially if you are using it in the house. Um, for the most part, I feel like this monomer isn't really, really strong. It kind of reminds me of the not polished low order monomer, so that's great. And of course, I will be testing that out once I start to swatch and use the acrylics. But until then, let's go ahead and get into the acrylics. So first of all, I just love the way she included this Easter egg. Like, I just feel like all of her PR packages are so pretty. Um, she takes so much time just to like display and everything. I just absolutely love it. It came with a little bunny ribbon on the outside of it. And also in the inside, she included a little plush peeps. I think this is so cute. And I would be definitely sitting this like in my nail area just to have like some Easter or spring decoration. For the acrylic, so she did include two cover colors. I'm not really sure like which collection this is from, but I love when she include cover colors because they are always so top tier and the perfect shade. Um, so we got two of those and also we have this Easter glitter which is called Easter basket and I just love the color like glitter in here like it just gives like spring pastel Easter vibes and I didn't know just from looking at the jar but when I go to swatch it it's gonna have like little hearts and little flowers in there and so that was also very very pretty um and so yeah this is all the acrylics that I have from her like I said I have the two cover colors the glitter easter basket color and then the rest of them i believe is the entire easter collection and just by looking at them i love these already another thing i really like when it comes to the acrylics that made me like them a lot more is if the name actually match it and with these names i can already tell that i love them like the one that stands out the most to me is the yellow which is called peeps like that could not be a more perfect name to call it on um, there's also like cotton candies pistachio jelly bean tulip like it was just a lot of cute names um which i will be showing you guys individually as i swatch them which i am going ahead and do now to swatch these i am using her number 14 kalinsky brush whenever i go to link this down below i'm not really seeing the exact one i got so I do try to link, um, I do believe she like got newer ones, so I'll be linking those below. Um, but yeah, for the acrylic application, I am using her new monomer as well. And this is my second time starting to swatch these acrylics. When I tell you I was having a little bit more difficult time, I don't know if it was because the monomer or the temperature in my room, um, which was actually quite cool. So I'm not really sure why it was taking so long for the bead to like set up. So the problem I was having was like, as you guys saw, it took a while for this bead to become like really buttery. Usually I don't have that problem when I'm using um, the not polished monomer. Um, so yeah, I was just like, okay, is it going to set up? Because I know for sure her acrylics are like super buttery and I know this is not the time for her to fail me now. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to give it a few more seconds. Um, just to see what happens and also I was kind of like tapping throughout 
the weight process and as you guys see it did become super buttery which was um exactly what you want which brings me to the thought that maybe her new monomer is a more slower setting monomer um and i do believe the slower setting monomers are more for beginners that way you have a lot more time to work with them and they're not setting up and like you know becoming like really hard before you even get a chance to blend it down or work with it or whatever the case is so i did keep that in mind throughout the entire process of me swatching her powders um especially using her monomer and i felt like that was the case with all of them so yeah i'm just gonna say for me it was definitely the monomer but i don't really have a problem with it um as long as the beads become really buttery how i like and i'm able to work with it i am completely fine with it um and for this glitter here it took me a while to get a bead like as you guys saw the first time it just kind of got stuck in the jar and usually in my opinion that happens when there's a lot more glitter than there is um powder because like the monomer is not really having any powder to like stick to or bond with if that makes sense so for those you want to make sure that you give them a good stir and make sure that everything is combined that way you get a better powder to glitter ratio but yeah that glitter is so pretty i love it so much and the colors in that glitter is definitely everything i want in a spring or easter color like it was just so pretty i honestly can't say it enough um, and for the other ones, I didn't show the entire weight process, but the amount of time it took for these acrylics to polymerize, it did take about 15 to 20 seconds for each of them, but I did edit that out. So you see me pick up the bead and then you'll see me go ahead and swatch it. And I think the monomer works really great. Like the only thing that was different for me this time using the new monomer is just like the wait time for the bead to set up because usually it just like automatically becomes super buttery but like i said this may be a more slower setting monomer so keep that in mind if you are going to be purchasing any acrylics or her monomer to try out which i highly recommend um but yeah just as always her powders are really buttery and really smooth easy to use easy to pick up and these colors are really great for a spring collection like if you're looking for some really bright colors but not really bright like neon colors this is going to be a really great collection for you guys to check out also she has a lot more acrylics on her website if you haven't heard of her i will leave her link and everything down below for you guys to check out and also i do have a discount code which is key 15 and it will save you 15 percent off your entire order so yeah make sure to check that out she has a halloween collection she has more cover colors she has um a tropical glitter collection she has a kawaii dreams collection which is like super pretty kawaii glitters and she just has like a lot of options she's coming out with a lot more things which i'm super excited about and see her grow so um yeah if you haven't checked her out go look at her website and get you some stuff because her quality is really amazing and i cannot tell you how grateful and happy i am to be working with her she's just such a lovely person like i couldn't be more grateful but once i finished swatching all the colors this is what they look like so pretty i love these I didn't have any problems with it marbling i feel like the opacity is very great um they aren't like transparent or like marbly looking they are just absolutely perfect so yeah i will leave this collection down below for you guys to check out if you are interested in purchasing anything make sure to use my discount code and with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into today's video so i've already applied my nail tips which are from ellen nailed it every time i go to link these they are always sold out so if you don't see them, that is why. Um, but these are the colors I went ahead and picked out. So I picked out Pistachio, Peeps, Sunday Fun Day, Cotton Candy, Jelly Bean, the really pretty glitter Easter Basket color, and also one of the cover colors. And yeah, these are all of the colors I'm going to be using. Whenever I have collections like this, I just feel like it's always just in me to try to use all the colors and make this as bright and over the top as well not really over the top but for what it is i feel like it's very over the top because i could have easily used one color and been done with it but i feel like these colors are so pretty i couldn't just use one or two like 
they're just so pretty not to so i end up using a couple of them um and what i decided to do is i feel like this is always like my go-to method when using a lot of like pastel colors like this i'm gonna be trying to like marble them together not necessarily a marble because i suck at doing marble so for my technique when doing these nails um i basically just kind of sat them beside each other and just make sure that they are wet enough to kind of blend into the other color that way you know it's kind of like a fade ombre like a mixed ombre um instead of a marble because marbles would just be like all the colors like swirled together but that would definitely not give me what i want and i probably couldn't do it with all these colors anyway but i do try to keep my bee a little bit wetter that way when i set the next color down i can just kind of tap it so the colors blend a little bit so it's not like just patches of colors on my nails and i do that all the way up until where i glued on my nail tip yeah that was kind of the process i had when doing these i feel like this is such an easier way so when it came to the swatches i was picking up bigger beads but now that i'm actually working with it i did not have those same problems with it like not being buttery as fast like it was just working how it does normally so i think it was just picking up bigger beads the monomer kind of take a little bit more time to settle in and set up with the acrylic but once i started to use them it was just like a regular application when i use um my not polished monomer i do take my marble ombre type design up until where i glued on my nail tip and i decided to do like the peekaboo cuticle like i don't know if you guys have heard of that or if that's like the correct name for it but there's like this design where you put a glitter up at the cuticle area um and you take another color and kind of ombre it into it so it's just like peeking out at the cuticle area that's what i decided to do to include some of that glitter on the nails i didn't really use it on um and i thought that was so cute how it's just like up at the cuticle area and as you guys see i'm taking that cover color and blending it from that ombre to that glitter and that's basically what i'm going to be doing for all of my nails two of my other nails are going to have the peekaboo glitter at the top and then the other ones are going to be like marbled all the way up to the cuticle and then um it'll have a little bit more glitter like over the surface so yeah that's basically the process of how these nails happen um i love these acrylics and also i don't want to talk throughout the entire thing i kind of want to go ahead and get this up anyway so i don't want to waste too much time so i'll just be letting you guys go ahead and watch this process play out and yeah so if you are enjoying today's video so far make sure to go ahead and give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below
So here's me finishing up my pinky nail and this is what the application looks like and I'm just loving it already. It reminds me of like cotton candy, just really cute and soft. Um, I've already did my thumb off camera. As you guys see, my ring finger and my thumb has a little bit more glitter over the entire surface and I really like those designs. Um, yeah, so now that I'm done with my base application, I'm going to be taking my Kara Sky Clear to encapsulate. I'm not going to be showing the entire process, but I did want to show like one nail just so you guys get the feel of how it went. Bomb nails actually have a clear, but unfortunately I don't have it yet. Um, and I really want to try it. So hopefully I'll be ordering that soon. Clear acrylics is just like top coats. I love to try different brands of top coats just to see how clear they are how thick they are just how great they make the nail look um so yeah i want to try her clear so bad so i'll probably order me some very soon because i also want to try her nail art brushes as well um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate once i'm done i'll be getting into my shaping and filing Believe it or not, the filing process was definitely a wild one. So it took me two days to actually finish these nails because I didn't have enough time to um, finish them the first day. I had to go do something. Um, so I did go ahead and pop them off and I thought it was going to save me some time. But the next morning when I did apply these back to like finish the video, um, I was looking at them and I felt like I filed too much. There was like dips on the side of the nail and it was just like really uneven and I was like there's just no way like filing is going to help them. Like I filed them too much already. So what I did was I went back in with my clear acrylic and just filled in my sides to make them even a little bit. And then unfortunately I did have to go ahead and shape and file them once again. Um, the part that you are seeing right now is the first time. The second time I just went ahead and applied them and filed them to the best of my ability off camera. So I just feel like whenever I'm not recording, everything just happens a lot better, a lot smoother and a lot faster. Yeah, like you can kind of see here where like on the side by the yellow, there's like a little dip on the side of the nail and I didn't like it. And if I filed it even more just to get it like even, the nail would have turned from square to a coffin. So I was just like, I'm going to fix it with more acrylic. And once I got everything straightened, I did go ahead and wash my hands and everything. And this is how the nails look now. I feel like my sides are a little bit better. They aren't like uneven or wavy looking. They're a lot more straighter. So yeah, I'm going to go in with some nail art. I'm going to be taking my go-to white gel polish from Bomb Nails and put some on my nail palette. And I'm going to be drawing a little bunny on my middle finger. So this part was a little bit challenging. It kind of feels like I haven't did nail art in so long. Like, it was definitely a struggle with trying to 
get this done but how i started the whole bunny off is i wanted to map out where i want the ears to be and that just kind of gave me like the center point or how big i wanted the bunny to be and that's not the finished look for the ears i am going to go back and um add more to it but that's kind of where i wanted to start just to give me an idea of like how big i wanted it or like you know the center points the next i do make a circle below it which is going to be the bunny's head once I get it rather even and how I like, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And this white gel polish is really great for nail art. I feel like the consistency of it, it kind of feels like a gel paint almost, but it's not like super thick. So it doesn't like have those weird streaks in it. Once I finished with the head, I didn't care anything just yet because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. So I just wanted to be sure that I could easily wipe it away if I didn't. But once I filled in the circle for the head, I'm going to create like an oval for the body. This is the part that kind of threw me off because this does not look like a bunny at all. But of course, I'm going to put everything else to it. Um, and once I got it rather to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and fill that in as well. Just kind of clean up a little bit get it more even and stuff on the sides Once I was satisfied with like the body part, I am going to go back up to the ears. Again, none of this is cured just yet. I wanted to make sure I had the base of the bunny to my liking or as decent as I can get it because I am not that great when it comes to nail art or at least I don't really think I'm that great. Um, yeah, I'm just redefining my ears, making them a little bit more bunny-like. And then once I finish, I'll go ahead and cure this in the light for 30 seconds. I'm going to be taking two gel polishes from Nail Reserve. I end up only using the darker one because that is the color I use for like the inside of the ear and the nose and the feet. I did end up putting two shades on my palette because I wasn't sure which one I was going to use. So this part, all of these are going to be mistakes. So for my final design, I didn't end up showing anything on camera because I just kept messing up. However, I still did include my mistakes because I still want you guys to see or get the feel of how the nail art went. But there was like so many mistakes you see me keep wiping it away. So eventually I was just like, I'm going to go ahead and just do it off camera see if I'm able to do it. Because if not, I'm going to have to end up changing my design and foul off the white part I already cured on. And not really surprisingly, I was able to get it a lot more decent. Like I said, everything I do off camera just seems to go out a lot faster. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because I know I'm recording. So I just kind of put that pressure on myself to get it right and like perfect. And in the end, I feel like the bunny turned out really cute. So doing it off camera was definitely worth it for me. Um, it wasn't exact how I pictured it, but you know, it is what it is. And the inspo picture I was looking at, it did have like a carrot. The bunny was holding on to a carrot, but I did want to do like another carrot set. So I didn't want to feel like I'm doing like too many carrots because for Easter nails, I don't really want to do too much. And I didn't want it to feel like I'm just doing the same thing back to back. So I just end up doing like a little oval for the belly instead of the bunny holding a carrot. Um, added in some white detail for the eyes, the whiskers and everything. And... Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. I feel like my line work could have been a little bit better. But for my nail art brushes, I'm using the Kara Sky XL brushes. And I also switched to like the um, shorter lengths for the Kara Sky brushes. And every time I go to set the brush on the nail to like start the line, there's always like this little tiny hair right at the tip that kind of throws off my entire line. And if I go to cut it, I feel like I'm going to mess up my brush. So that's just kind of like it threw me off and some of my lines weren't as straight as I wanted them to be 
also that nails by dev gel paint was a little bit thick so you know i just kind of have to work with it but overall i still like my bunny and see i think it was cute so yeah now i'm just adding on my top coat adding on some rhinestones i did add a little bit underneath the bunny and also a purple flower by the ear to act as like a little bow originally for this design i was gonna end up doing some 3d flowers like i said it was taking me two days to finish this nail set and i feel like adding 3d flowers would have been even more time so i just end up using some of my little 3d charms that i have in my drawer i have a lot of these but they're just so pretty i could use them on every nail set i do like i really like using these they're really easy to apply to the nail i feel like they aren't like super big that they're in the way and feel like too much but it just gives it like that perfect touch of a charm and like nail art decoration and for my index and pinky i did just end up putting like three of those flowers on my nail um, two bigger ones and a smaller one just kind of matching the acrylic colors and for my ring finger and my thumb i did add some up at the cuticle area just doing a little simple cuticle bling After everything was cured, I am gonna go back, put some top coat inside of my flowers and add in some of those silver caviar beads. Um, and that's pretty much it for my nail art or like decorations. And that's it, I did pop them into the light once more just to make sure everything was nice and cured. And like always, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some cuticle oil to re-nourish my cuticles, get that all rubbed in. And by the way, this one is from Bomb Nails, it's her rose scented one and it smells really nice. Once I've rubbed everything in to re-nourish my cuticles, this is how the finished set looks. And I love it a lot. I really love how my bunny turned out. It looks super cute. Um, and also, I really love my placement of the 3D flowers. I love the pastel colors to these. The really cute, soft spring look to them. Like, I just love everything about these. And also, I'm glad that I kept these rather long than making them shorter because I feel like it just wouldn't be the same if I made them shorter to me in my opinion um yeah using these acrylics were very very easy and i love this entire collection from bomb nails so make sure that you guys do go check her out if you plan on purchasing anything from her website you can use my discount code which is key 15 and it will save you some money off your order guys i know my ending clips can be a little bit long and a bit over the top but i had this really pretty yellow sweater it kind of reminds me of like a mustard yellow but it's so cute i wanted to get like some background shots with that one um and i just think they just make this entire set pop even more so yeah that basically wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought about today's set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.